Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. I was not even going to film this video, but you know what? I figured why not? I got my Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks yesterday in the mail, and I wore one of the shades all day yesterday because I did want this to be somewhat of a review. I wanted to give you guys the pros and cons of the lipstick as I wore it and what I thought about it. But then I also have two other shades that I have not touched so you guys can see what they look like straight out of the package. So I have three lipsticks that I am ready to share with you guys. Unfortunately, I did try to get the full collection but honestly it was a blessing in disguise that I didn't because your girl does not need to be spending $300 nor do I have the space to um, give shelter to 20 more lipsticks so uh, yeah I am going to give you guys my sole opinion in this video there has been a lot of controversy surrounding this launch a lot of lipsticks have been sent out people are receiving damaged ones there are ones with like hair follicles in it and when I say hair follicles it's like white hair or white fuzz that Jacqueline claims is from a cloth glove but I mean I don't do they still use cloth gloves I thought it was all latex I don't really know I, like I said I'm not getting involved I'm only here to speak on the products that I received and as boring as it is and as annoying as it is I have not seen anything really that major wrong with them I mean I can totally see what others are saying I think that the one I wore yesterday which I wore the shade mom all day long is kind of a little chunky but I really do enjoy the formula they feel really really nice on the lips the shades are really beautiful which I'm not saying that these other people have no right to feel the way that they feel I mean if I spent $300 and got fuzzy lipsticks your girl would have been upset. If I bought one, which they individually retail for $18, if I bought one $18 lipstick and it was fuzzy, like I would have been on here complaining too. So I'm not knocking these people. If you are interested, these do retail again for $18 individually, or you can get the whole collection for about 200 and something dollars. They also do come in trios. So that is three lipsticks in one package. And I think they range for about $50. If I'm wrong with the pricing, I will put the prices on the screen because it is late at night. And like I said, I wasn't gonna film this video, but I had a full face of makeup on it figured hey why the hell not without further ado let's stop babbling and let's get on to my Jaclyn cosmetics nude lipstick review okay so for the first shade I'm gonna be applying the shade mom which is the shade that I wore all day yesterday I really do like the color but I'm just gonna show you guys what the lipstick looks like up close before I even apply it so you can see there's kind of like a tear in there I'm not really sure and just so you guys know I did exfoliate my lips before using this lipstick so I doubt that it is dry skin but they're so creamy and they feel really, really nice on the lips. I do want to mention a couple things. I feel like I really rushed into this video because I was so excited to get this shade on my lips because if you know me, this is like the perfect summer shade for me. I love a bold, bright pink. I think it's so, so fun. But I am going to tell you guys a little bit about the wear, but I also want to run you guys through the packaging. So. I really enjoy the unicarton that it comes in. I think it's really sophisticated. I like that it's kind of like embossed. I don't know if you guys can see that, but kind of has like a little pattern all over it. Really, really nice. I love the Jaclyn logo. It's really pretty. And I think this is one of the nicest unicartons that I've received in a while. I also do really like that it has the shade on the bottom and then the name on it. So you can see like what the color would look like if you were to open it and apply it on your lips. Now, I probably should have showed you mom because that's the color that I have on my lips. So let me show you the mom unicarton. So this is the mom unicarton and I would say it matches my, it kind of like matches. It gives you like a good idea. I mean, it's not like the perfect color, but I do like that it has that option. And then this is what the lipstick looks like. Honestly, I hate the packaging. The only thing that I like about the packaging is it is kind of heavy, so it feels expensive, kind of like a hefty lipstick, which is really nice for applying because I think the heavier that something is, the more precise it is to apply, if that makes any sense. So I do really like the weight. I wish it didn't have this like tacky ass looking diamond on top. Like it kind of looks like she went to like Michaels or Hobby Lobby and just like put a cheap ass diamond up top so I don't really love that. Something else that I hate is like I'm really crazy and I tend to throw my lipsticks in my bag before they're technically closed all the way and for me I don't know if you guys can see that but it kind of has like a space between where the top and the bottom meet which at first I kept like closing it and I was like oh crap I didn't close it all the way but I did. It kind of just has like a gap here. I have to make sure that I 
hear it click. I like that it has the name on the bottom with the shade again, like it does on the Unicarton, so that is a plus for me. I always love that. I think it's important to have the name on the actual lipstick. I don't really love the glitter. I'm not that big of like a silver girl. I personally like gold a little bit better, but even if this wasn't gold, I don't think I would like this. I like that it's shimmery, but it, like, it's not flaky so it's not like the glitter is going to come off it's really like sealed in there so that you don't have to worry about because that would really drive me crazy if there was silver glitter all over my bag i just wish it was a little chicer i wish it was a little bit more minimalistic but you know what Jaclyn Hill is Jaclyn Hill. She's over the top. She loves silver and this literally looks like her home so this really embodies Jaclyn Hill so i'm not going to knock it too much if it were my makeup brand, it wouldn't look like this. But it's not my makeup brand, so I'm just telling you guys, you might like this if you like silver, if you like glitter, if you like gaudy, then you're gonna love this for $18. When I initially put this on for the first time, I hated it. I put it on and was like, oh my god, no, I'm gonna hate this lipstick. It kind of feels really thick. I don't know if you guys are gonna totally understand what I'm saying, but it really reminds me of when my mom would take me to like the Halloween store and you would go and get like that black lipstick, like one of those cheapy lipsticks. It feels very thick. It feels very heavy on the lips, but then honestly, after 10 minutes of wearing it, that thickness kind of goes away, and it feels really nice, and it's just like a thick lipstick. It really, really honestly reminds me of my Marc Jacobs lipstick in, this is Cream and Sugar, but any of these Marc Jacobs lipstick, it has that kind of thickness to it, which I like. There have been rumors going around that people think that this lipstick is old because Jaclyn has been working on her products for the last five years, so when I initially put it on, I was like, I had that in the back of my head and was like, crap, these lipsticks are old, they feel chalky. You know like when a lipstick is just old and it just has that feeling, but there are a lot of hydrating ingredients in this lipstick, so I think that's why it feels so heavy because it's really nourishing and it's meant to be like a lipstick that helps with skincare as well. Very hydrating, really good for your skin, which I like. Also, a lot of people online were saying that this is not very long lasting. I'm not kidding you guys. I put this on yesterday when I got it at 8 a.m. I worked out in it, I showered in it, and granted I didn't go in the shower and like wash my lips, I washed the rest of my face, but still on my lips at 2 p.m. I ate, I drank, I mean I didn't really drink anything hot, I had iced coffee, so it, maybe if you're drinking tea and stuff, I don't really know how well that will go. I mean I had a protein shake, I had cheese and crackers, I mean I think if you're going to eat a burger it's going to come off, but you guys are getting the drift. Like if you're not doing too much, it will last you a pretty long time. I mean definitely not transfer proof. It comes right off so if you're looking for a lipstick that's not going to transfer on your boo when you kiss them when you're snuggling like this is definitely going to transfer i really do like it and i think it lasts a lot longer than people claim it lasts i again i just think it depends on what you're eating what you're drinking and how you go about your day it kind of just looks like you use lipstick right what do we think it doesn't look that crazy it doesn't look bad it doesn't look like anything's poking up I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, honestly, compared to all the lipsticks that I saw some people get, like, this looks hella good, if I'm being honest. I took this off with a makeup remover wipe, but as you can see, my lips are stained. The shade Mom, I can't speak for the other shades, it definitely does stain your lips. I wore it all day yesterday, and then Mike and I went out, and I changed my lipstick for nighttime. I took it off with a makeup remover wipe. I then scrubbed my lips, and that crap was not coming off. I woke up this morning and still had flecks of, like, hot pink left in my lips so just so you guys know if you're someone that doesn't like a lipstick that stains this isn't going to be for you so that was the shade mom now let's go ahead i'm going to move on to the shade isla this is definitely my favorite shade by just looking at it but this is what the lipstick looks like i don't see any like moisture marks like people were saying i don't see any hairs or fuzzies i did take pictures and i will insert a few of the isla photos right here for you this lipstick did have a few like black spots kind of looked like air bubbles i don't know if you guys can see them i hope that you can nothing where i would look at it and be like oh my god i'm not putting that on my lips right, let's go ahead and let's apply isla i'm really excited to see this color on oh yeah that's a good nude. This is my kind of nude. I love this color. Okay, again guys, these are really super creamy. This is what it looks like after applied. It kind of just looks like a used lipstick. 
I don't see anything creeping up from the bottom. I don't see any hairs. Again, I just feel like I got a decent batch. Okay, so I did come up with some dupes for you guys, which I totally forgot until right now because they're sitting in front of me, so I really do apologize. I wanted to do something a little bit different with my video because there's nothing really wrong with my lipsticks, and I figure so many people are doing these Jaclyn Hill videos that I wanted to do one that gave you some kind of benefit that maybe you wouldn't find in others, so I am going to show you guys some affordable dupes that you can buy. So, I am wearing the shade Isla, and I think my dupe for this one has to be the Maybelline Baddest Beige. This is the shade. It kind of has that pretty glossy tone, but also has that like light pink nude. I'm gonna throw some of this over it, but yeah, these like they pretty much are very, very similar. If you had your eye on this color, maybe you can just head on over to the drugstore to purchase this one. And I did want to give you guys dupes because all of her lipsticks sold out relatively quickly. And maybe with all this controversy, maybe you don't feel like supporting Jaclyn Cosmetics, or maybe you're just fearful that you're going to get a fuzzy, faulty lipstick, which I totally understand. I love this shade though. I think it's beautiful. I would literally wear this every single day. And this really does remind me of the Marc Jacobs Cream and sugar shade. Very identical. I've worn this in so many of my videos. I've talked about it so many times. This is not really an affordable dupe, but if you want to do, maybe you just don't feel like buying them, like I said, but you are more than happy to go out and spend $34 on a lipstick, then definitely go for the Cream and Sugar by Marc Jacobs. Let me show you guys Isla after I applied it. Just looks like a used lipstick. There's nothing really wrong with this one. Now let's rewind a second and I'm going to bring you guys, let's like tell let's like telepathically go back to mom. And the dupe that I have for mom is a L'Oreal Color Reshine in the shade Burnished Blush. There it is right here. So this is a great dupe for mom. And then I will swatch mom underneath so you guys can see how similar they are. Pretty similar. I mean, this one is definitely shinier. This one has more of like a matter finish, although they are not matte lipsticks, but very, very similar. And the color reach shines retail for less than $10. And then last but not least, let's move on to my last lipstick. Again, I'm sorry, I only got three, but it is what it is. And like, look, mom stained the shit out of me, mom. I like the color though, but that is kind of a little annoying. My last shade is the shade Perfectionist. This was the only one that kind of had like a spot up top that maybe looked like a moisture spot. And then this is what it looks like after I used it. There are a couple bumpy spots. I'm not so sure what they are. Can you see right there? There's like a little bead. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I will take a picture and insert it so you guys can see. Last and final note that I do want to mention to you guys because I was definitely thinking of it before I received these lipsticks is Jacqueline was talking about how rich and creamy they are and my first initial thought was like oh my god do they move are they going to migrate away from my lips are they going to get all over my you know my, the skin instead of my lips are they going to move are they going to migrate are they going to end up on my teeth I have to say these are the creamiest lipsticks I've ever worn that don't migrate you don't need a lip liner you literally can just go and apply them like you don't even need to look in a mirror and you're good you're set to go you don't even need to think about it or worry about it I have not gotten any on my teeth thus far which I find so crazy and so unbelievable because again they are so creamy you would think that they're just like dying to like move but they're not so they don't get on your teeth they don't get outside of your lip lines. I'm a really big fan. I really do enjoy the formula. And I gotta say, regardless of what a lot of people are saying online, no matter what faults are in anyone's lipstick, everyone loves the formula. The formula is bomb. So if you're just looking for a good formula and you can deal with some bumps, I mean, if it's molds, that's a whole health issue and I'm not advising you to buy them or use molds on your lips. I don't know, guys. I just got a good batch, okay? Don't hate me. Don't be mad at me. But I just wanted to mention that the formula is bomb. The dupe for this one, before I forget, guys, I almost forgot again. So the dupe for this one is also another Color Riche by L'Oreal. This is in the shade Glossy Fawn. I have worn this one several times. I really do like it. It's really similar. Again, this is in the shade Glossy Fawn. It's a little bit more brown, while the Jaclyn is a little bit pinker. But, I mean, for less than $10, you get a pretty decent dupe. Throw this one over. And there we go, guys. 
that is it. Um, I'm sorry if you came to my channel to watch this and thought that maybe you were going to get a little bit of, you know, drama, some tea. Unfortunately, I don't have any. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what you think about these lipsticks. What is your favorite shade? Did you buy a Jaclyn Hill lipstick? And if you did, was there anything wrong with it or anything like that? If you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you. And also click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. This way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a video here on my channel. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.